Welcome to Medicine in a Nutshell's Guide to Taking an ECG. Gain informed consent and explain the procedure fully. Listen the patient comfortably in bed. Ask them to remove their shirt and remove their bra if they're wearing one. Maintain privacy and dignity. A chaperone may be required. You may need to clean the chest or shave it if it's particularly hairy to maintain good contact with the ECG stickers. Position the stickers as shown. Chest lead 1 is located on the fourth intercostal space on the right sternal edge. Palpate the angle of Lewin and then move sideways to palpate the second, third and then fourth intercostal space. Place chest lead 1 on the right of the sternum and chest lead 2 on the left of the sternum. Ensure the attachment area is facing downwards. So it is in the correct position for attaching the leads. Now place chest lead 4. This needs to be in the mid clavicular line in the fifth intercostal space. Have the sticker to hand so you can place it once you've located your anatomical landmark. Now place chest lead 6. This needs to be in the fifth intercostal space mid axillary line. Chest lead 3 needs to be between chest leads 2 and 4. Chest lead 5 is positioned between chest lead 4 and 6. Place the limb leads on the ankles and on the wrists. Ensure the ankle attachments are facing upwards and the wrist attachments are facing downwards. You may wish to attach the limb leads to the shoulders and to the hips as shown here. An aid memoir is to remember, ride your green bike. Starting at the right shoulder and moving clockwise. Red, yellow, green, black. Tangling the leads is easy, especially in an exam. A tip is to pop the centre block on the patient's lap. This is the central point, so none of the leads are tight and pulling off the stickers. Attach the limb leads first and then attach all of the chest leads in order. Ask the patient to remain still while you press the button to start the ECG. Instruct them to breathe normally but ask for do not talk. Once the ECG is complete, let the patient know and analyse the ECG. Do not remove the stickers until you're happy with the ECG you've got. Label the time and date on the ECG along with any clinical details such as chest pain. If this video was useful, please like and subscribe to our channel.